Well, hi there. Happy April, everyone. It, if you are involved in small business, running your small business, doing payroll, paying people, paying taxes, doing any type of accounting work for a small business, you'll know that, that April is the month when you have to file generally, if you're on a normal calendar year, your first quarter filing, your January, February, March filings, and everything that you have to do um, f is usually due by April 30th. So I decided it's really time to do a video where we talk about uh, how to do quarterly filings. What you're looking at is a really, really fun Microsoft Excel application that does payroll in all 50 states and I think the Virgin Islands. I might even have that on there too. I've got all kinds of things in here. It's really fun. We're going to talk about some samples about how to use this and how to create the reports that you need because there are a lot of reports already in here. If you already own one of these, you'll have this reporting page and you'll know how to work this. But there's some reports that it doesn't have in here automatically for you. And so one of the reasons why we're going to do this video today is to explain how to create any report that you could possibly desire or imagine. How to do that yourself. It's actually relatively easy. I'll explain how to do that and, um, and, and just go over how this thing works. So as a very brief overview, you have employees. Those employees have to enter in. You have to, you have to enter in information for those employees into this file. I've done many other videos about how to do this, so we're not going to focus on it now. Once you get all the information in there, you also need to put other things on the sheet like the unemployment rate for the state. We're going to use the sample state of Oregon, which unemployment report, which is the unemployment amount is usually due quarterly and then annually. You need to figure out how much you owe, and they're going to give you a rate um, that they're going to assign you that the first $43,800 of wages in Oregon to each employee are going to be taxed at this, at this rate. So by putting that rate in there, whatever they send you, we're going to show you how to generate an unemployment report for Oregon or for any other state in here because we have all the states possible in this file and what it looks like and how to do it. So assuming all of these three employees are in Oregon and, and we've been paying these employees throughout the year and we've all got all that information about their hours and their rate and everything done, well, how do we generate this unemployment report now? What do we do? And I have some pivot reporting set up in here. And what, what that means is there's a way to generate reports in Microsoft Excel to do anything you want relatively easily. So how do we do that? Okay. Well, all of your payroll data is actually called something. It's called a named range. You click this little arrow up here in this little this little window or top left bar here. You click an arrow, there's a bunch of names and words. The word ALLP, underscore ALLP, is all the payroll data for your business, all consolidated in one big cube of data. You can easily make a table or a pivot table from that data by just doing what we just did there, an insert pivot table. You can also call the table range underscore ALLP and that will also work. And just press OK. And you're going to be able to get a brand new way to, to create a brand new table. And there are many, many different elements you can add to the table. So let's talk about unemployment for your state for the period. OK, well, how do we do that? Well, we want to find people. People is one thing we want to look for. So we grab first name and last name right here. And we're going to put it in this quadrant called the row labels. There's a bunch of areas over here, and I'm going to show you how we construct this table using all of these different quadrants that you can choose from, filters, columns, rows, and values. We're going to start with our rows, which is building out the order of our table and the things that we're looking at. We're looking at names. We're looking at pay period ending is another thing we can look at. But pay period ending starts to break itself into months and, and quarters and all kinds of things. So maybe we don't want to look at it that way. We can look at... Uh, paycheck date, because that's, that's a really important one. All the way down here is the paycheck date. You could put it in there. If you couldn't find it right away, you can also start to type in keywords if you think you know what you're looking for. If you're looking for the paycheck date, start typing in paycheck and it'll pop up and you can choose that. So what we're looking at here is we're looking at uh, all the quarters of payroll for all your employees. And we're moving stuff around 
And we're also going to change the design of the, the table so that it's easier to read. We're going to go up to design. We're going to go to report layout right here. And we're going to say tabular. It's the third one. Tabular makes things look a little better. We're going to get rid of subtotals because that makes the table a little clunky. So we're going to go to do not show subtotals. Uh, and then we're going to get something that starts to look a little better. Um, we can also move our quarters around. We could say, hey, instead of our quarters being here, we want our quarters to be up here at the top in a filter. And we can add little filters to this by going up to Pivot Table Analyze when you're clicking inside the table. Go to Insert Slicer. And we can do things like Insert Slicer for quarters so that we can just pick what quarter we want to look at. If we just want to look at quarter number one, we're going to get quarter number one, quarter number two, quarter number two. So what's going on in quarter number one? Because that's the quarter that we're in right now. What we need to find out is how much unemployment tax do we need to pay? What were our gross wages? Those are things they're going to ask. What are your excess wages? Things like that. Well, if you start typing in the word wages, you'll start to see all the different categories that are related to wages. And it's kind of a little bit complicated to figure out exactly which one you need without me telling you. Um, so um, we'll just have to tell you for this purpose which one you actually need, which is you need wages before tax. So we're going to scroll down and find it so you can see where it is on your own version because a lot of these are going to be in the same order for your file that you're seeing in this video right now. Uh, a lot of you have a version of this file that uh, is pretty standard and so a lot of these things are in there and they're generally in the same order for you to follow. So it's pr pretty far down and we're looking at we're looking at right here, it is going to be Medicare and, or sorry, federal taxable gross wages or Medicare and FICA wages is actually what it is. And Medicare FICA wages is generally what, what your taxable wage base is going to be for filing unemployment. And so what you have there is the amount of wages for each person. You're also going to have something called unemployment tax. And and there's a UI state also. Which state are these people in? You could put that at the beginning. They're all in Oregon, but you might have employees in different states. So it's a good idea to put the state at the beginning of the table right here. Uh, these are our wage wages for, for the period that we're talking about. And we also want to have the UI wage base. That's another one. And the UI tax. And what that's going to give us are all the information, pieces of information that we need. Um, and, and you basically created a report and you're done. <laughs> Just like this. Change formatting around. So it's going to automatically do everything that you needed to do. Just making the formatting a little cleaner for you uh, and showing you how to do that. So this would then show you what you owe for the first quarter. You'd owe that amount. What, what would you owe for the second quarter? That. What would you owe for the third quarter? Less. Right, um, because the wage base is so high in Oregon that these employees actually do not get to that forty-three thousand dollars or whatever it is per employee. You can change a way the you can change the way you sort this. You can move the name up one so that it's name and then month if you want to do it that way. You can shrink these things so that you only have to look at what you want to look at. It's called collapsing or expanding there. When you right click on them and expand collapse, you can do any, anything you want. So you can see what the wages are for the period. You can see that the UI wage base ends up maxing out at 43,800, which it is supposed to do because that is the first, that is the threshold in Oregon for where you uh, stop taxing the, the wage base. Is that 4,300? So that's correct. That's great that it shows that. Here's a cool exercise you can do in this file as well. You can say, hey, let's switch these people from Oregon to a different state. Let's say one person's in Pennsylvania, one person's in South Carolina, and one person's in Tennessee. Let's just go crazy, right? Um, it's going to ask for some more information, but so what? Let's see what happens when we refresh everything. Everything's going to totally change in that report right here. All these Oregon states are all going to change, and now it's going to be Pennsylvania, South Carolina, and Tennessee, which all have different wage bases. And um, somebody else, I guess, is still in Oregon previously, <laughs> an employee that should be deleted. But that that's really awesome how this thing just changes automatically. This is the new report that you created, the new pivot report that we just showed you how to do. 
by simply, I'll show you how quick it is again, right? You just want to go to this range, all P, and you want to insert a pivot table. And you can just press OK right now and it's going to work. And then you start grabbing the things that you want. And you can create any table you want and redesign it any way you want it to look. And all you then do is refresh it every single time you want it to update and you're going to be totally current. So that's how quick it can be. Um, so when you, you need to generate reports for your file and you want to contact me about how do I do it, this is the video I'm going to refer you to on how you can try to create your own. Of course I will help you if you're having difficulty doing it because there are many complex columns that, that you're going to be accessing potentially. But it's really not that difficult and it makes payroll easy and that's why we're here making payroll easy. So good luck everyone. If you're interested in this 50 state version, I have not sold the 50 state version to anyone yet because I've been still working on it for all these months and, and tax laws have, are constantly changing. But I'm ready now. If, if somebody really wants to use this, you're a finance professional, you have employees across the country, this thing's going to be extremely useful. Uh, and and it, it has so many iterations that it's completely dynamic. You can change pay periods from weekly to, to monthly to uh, bi-weekly to semi-monthly to whatever you want. You can change your paycheck dates and your pay period dates. You can change your employee totals by expanding and collapsing employees. You can This thing can hold thousands of employees instead of, you know, you're seeing essentially 20 employee slots potential in here right now. There could be thousands and this thing would still work. It would be a really huge file with thousands, but hundreds of employees is, is well within reason and manageable. So that is the update for Q1. Contact me if you're interested in the file. It will help save you time and you will be happy you purchased it. That I can promise you. So good luck. Payroll should be easy, so make it.